Friday afternoon, Croatia took on Brazil. Yep, more pens, more people getting very agitated in front of microphones and more heartbreak and tears for one unlucky nation, in this case, Brazil. Really, what a shock this was. Croatia, a nation, as their manager, Dalic, was saying, about the size of a Brazilian suburb, smaller than Yorkshire, he could have added. Slightly bigger than Uruguay. Slightly bigger than Uruguay, fair point. But a nation whose team had looked absolutely cooked in their last 16 match with Japan before uh, scraping by on, on penalties, taking on a Brazil team who in their last 16 match had looked like vintage Selecao, tearing South Korea apart. What did Croatia do? They absolutely shut Brazil down and then beat them on spot kicks. Wow. And this despite the fact that after keeping them goalless for, what, 105 minutes... Neymar produces that flash of genius and it looks like, well, there's no way that this side who hadn't had a single shot on target to that point, there's no way they're coming back from this. But they did. Neymar's goal, first of all, Tim, were you excited by that? It did It did get me excited. Okay. Um, but it's him, and, him and Messi really came to the fore today, mm. uh, which, is, which is what you want really at this, at this stage of the tournament. Um, Croatia just so durable. The definition of the word team, really. More of the sum of its parts than any other team that are here. And I just I didn't see Brazil scoring, to be honest, but it's it's a fabulously well worked goal with the two one twos. You didn't see Brazil scoring, but once they had, did you see any way that Croatia were going to come back into that game? Or was it that Brazil thought they'd already won it? Potentially, I mean, they shouldn't be conceding a goal like that when you, when you want to up in a World Cup quarter final. Mm. One that goes from one end of the pitch to the other very, very quickly. You, you wouldn't expect Croatia to be scoring that kind of goal on the counter attack. Um, it's just th- th- this this record of theirs, extra time. I mean, I, you know, l- like you were saying, I, I I knew that they'd give Brazil the toughest test that they've had so far. I think we could all see that. But you just thought with the exertions they'd had a few days ago that Brazil would have too much for Croatia ultimately. So for them to rouse themselves for that goal was quite something. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of Croatia earlier as if they were playing cricket, there'd be a test cricket team that <laughs> that has a lot of draws. Right. <laughs> uh, aesthetically pleasing, some lovely cover drives. But, you know, they're gonna they're gonna take two days to score four hundred and, and and draw the game. Um, but ultimately they're they're going to grind teams down. Colin Miller comparing them to Real Madrid in the Champions League. No matter how many times you think you've beaten them, they keep coming back. Sasha, what did you think? It's just, you said a team, and I think currently they resemble that team of old men who everyone's written off, you know, some coaches have sworn about, and they just went, ugh, and just stuck two fingers up at the whole world. Uh, I know I've used it before, but it, it feels like that because... In the qualifying, they were in a group with Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia. They were terrible. They were terrible to watch. They could they could barely score. Um, they come into this World Cup with a nil-nil draw. As it turns out, it's probably a good nil-nil draw given what Morocco have done since. Then, you know, they get wound up. And they get wound up, and it's a 4-1. Then, they should really lose to Belgium. Then, they're not very good against Japan. But today, the obdurate, I think the obdurate way that they handled today's game was just brilliant because... You know, Libakovic, Dominic Libakovic made 11 saves. But quite a few of them were sort of high percentage saves. They were from areas where you'd like them to shoot. Yes, Neymar was through twice uh, on Lovren's side, by the way. It was was played in twice by the Charles in the second half. But again, good proactive goalkeeping in those situations. Went through, did very good blocking with his feet. Probably his best save was from Guardiol, uh, who tried to deflect the ball into his own net. Same Guardiol, who was... I th- and this th- I advise everyone to watch this bit because when Neymar is playing the second one too, Guardiola just twitches and goes forward a yard. He opens up a yard of space and they play through that and around him. So minor minor mistake. But also, again, this situation to come back from it, they, how did they get up the pitch? Casemiro. You know, Casemiro played it for them, but they had to be there. But the guys who scored were the subs. Probably not in the same class as that brilliant midfield. Right. But they turned up just at the right time. Orsic to Pekovic. Mm-hmm. And the ball, I think, won for that uh, breakaway move by Guardiola. No? Uh, also, uh, people getting very, very excited by Juranovic's performance at right back. I think he possibly pushed back Vinicius by being so proactive on that side. Right. I think that possibly has gone under the radar a bit because I think what we saw in the. F- when coming into this game, we thought Brazil get around the sides and, uh, and mess them up. And, but I think we've seen this again from Real Madrid. Good comparison. 
they let you get around the sides and then they just really compact in the middle and which i think with which i think uh they were um croatia were today however second half i thought anthony coming on was actually started getting around on the side and you know a bit of penetration from brazil but overall it didn't feel like that there were many moments that croatia were really hanging on and then when it came to rousing themselves i think i think brazil probably thought they had it in the back i think everyone did right. like i didn't think croatia were coming back this time and yet they've done it again and I, now they're going to go into a game against argentina they're probably pretty confident. And it is amazing, though, how this bunch of old men keep going 120 minutes, tournament after tournament after tournament. The older yeah. they get, the longer they go. It's, um, it's also a great testament to that, to that nation uh, that I think six World Cup appearances, three semifinals. Hello there. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe to this channel? And if you'd like more Totally Football Show content, then just search for us on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Not an Athletic subscriber yet? Then just head to theathletic.com slash totally to find out our latest entry offer.